What do you think of when you hear the word Fabergé? Delicate, bejeweled, intricate eggs? Well, this exhibit will expand that thought. Cheekwit is thrilled to host the Matilda Gettings Gray Foundation's Fabergé collection here on Arts Break. This is a wonderful collection to have here at Cheekwood as well as in Nashville. This is one of the finest collections of Fabergé in the world. There are 57 objects put together by a really distinguished collector, Matilda Gettings Gray, from the 1930s to the 1960s. And what distinguishes this collection is the quality, the diversity of the work, and the large number of botanical works. There are 18 botanical pieces in this collection, which is a perfect fit for Cheekwood being an art museum and a botanical garden. So there's a bit of the flower indoors as well as outdoors. And there are three of the famous Russian Imperial Easter eggs. There are only 44 of these known today, and three of them are here at Cheekwood in Nashville, Tennessee. Fabergé um, was born to a family that was in the jewelry business. He took over his father's shop and was known for the quality of his design, his workmanship, and the great use of materials. Fabergé was noted for sort of the personal effects, whether it was a desk tray, a glue pot, an Easter egg, a cigarette case, or a little floral piece that could sit on your desk. These were sort of objects for the very few, and they were very rarefied. It's not just about the diamonds or the pearls and the, the richness of the material, it's also about the quality of the design and what he's done with them. We can all see just a big diamond, but what he's done with all the use of diamonds and pearls and stone and, and gold is really remarkable. The centerpiece of the exhibit is the Imperial Lilies of the Valley Basket from 1896. The leaves are made of nephrite and pearls and rose-cut diamonds form the lilies. Next to it is a beautiful piece called Cornflowers. There is also a poppy with an amethyst in the center, as well as other floral pieces that look like they're sitting in water. But actually, it's rock crystal, and even a dandelion is made to be spectacular. The legacy of Peter Carl Fabergé began in 1885, when Tsar Alexander III of Russia commissioned Fabergé to design and construct an Easter egg to be a surprise gift to his wife. The eggs contain a surprise, so next to the eggs are the painted screens that were sort of collapse and be inside the egg. There are a wonderful series of landscapes, um, exquisite little portrait miniatures that were inside the egg. So I think they're a real marvel because of the enamel work and the color and the pattern and how sumptuous they really are. So what's great here is you'll see a wonderful fan, you'll see picture frames, you'll see these floral pieces, cigarette cases, little cases. Equal parts opulent and clever, these one-of-a-kind priceless objects of art are on long-term loan at Cheekwood. For more information about the Fabergé collection on exhibit at Cheekwood, log on to our website at wnpt.net slash arts. This NPT Arts Break is made possible by the generous contributions of the Ingram Charitable Fund and Jean and Denny Bodorf.